British musician Ed Sheeran has risked breaching royal protocol after he touched Prince Charles's arm after receiving an MBE. Six years after breaking into the music industry, double Grammy winner Ed was given the prestigious honour at Buckingham Palace, London today. Musician Ed, from Suffolk, collected the MBE from Prince Charles, simultaneously hinting that he would like to perform at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 2018 royal wedding. But the star violated ancient rules governing commoners and royalty by laying his hand on the Prince of Wales' forearm while the heir to the throne shook his hand. Touching the special family is highly regulated, with the only contact expected to be initiated by the royal and never vice versa. But Ed is not the first person to fall foul of the protocol, LeBron James and Michelle Obama are among those to have goofed up in this area. And it isn't Ed's first experience of a faux pas involving royalty, he reportedly had his face sliced by Princess Beatrice at a party last November as she mock knighted James Blunt with a sword. When asked if he'd like to sing for Charles's son and the former Suits actress at their ceremony at Windsor Chapel next May, he said, yeah, why not? Ed remained modest about his achievements saying he didn't have vast talent compared to other artists but his persistence, drive and self-belief had paid off. Speaking at the palace, Ed explained, I think it's persistence. I don't have a vast amount of talent compared to other people. I think talent is like 30% of it and persistence, drive and self-belief are the other ones, which I guess are all the same thing. Joking about his meeting with Charles, the musician said the prince was impressed by his globe-trotting activities as he was due to fly to New York later for a gig. Sheeran said about their brief chat, he was asking me if I was still selling lots of records and I told him I've got a concert in New York tomorrow, and he was quite surprised I was flying after this. He added, my grandfather was a massive royalist. He had all the commemorative plates and stuff, and he died on this day four years ago so it's actually quite a nice full-circle thing. I guess he'd be pretty proud. The singer-songwriter's career took off after the release of his debut CD in 2011 and since that time the 26-year-old musician has notched up three number one singles, along with three chart-topping albums. Ed received the MBE, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, for his services to music. An MBE is given for an outstanding achievement or service to the community, which has had a long-term, significant impact and stand out as an example to others. Ed won an Ivor Novello Award for Songwriter of the Year in 2015, having previously penned the hits Love Yourself and Cold Water for Justin Bieber. He was the brains behind Little Things, a hit for One Direction, and Alima's Love Shine Down, as well as working with Eminem, The Weeknd, and Jesse Ware. Ed collaborated with his good friend Taylor Swift, with whom he toured for the majority of 2013. They worked together on Everything Has Changed in 2012 from her album Red. In 2016, Ed went on to win the Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance, both for Thinking Out Loud, trophies at the Grammys and has been nominated a further ten times in various categories. Ed's three albums, plus, 2011, Multiply, 2014, and Divide, 2017, have all peaked at number one in the UK album chart. The original, debut album, released six years ago, has now gone seven times platinum in the UK. Ed made chart-topping history earlier this year when he held nine out of the ten top spots in the UK singles chart. It followed a break from the music industry in which the world-famous musician went traveling and spent time doing charity work. Some of his most notable performances include singing at the annual Victoria's Secret Fashion Show in London in 2014, but this year he also had the honor of headlining Glastonbury Music Festival 2017.